Welcome back, everybody. This is M Dog, and I am um, doing something here I've been wanting to do for a while. Very much looking forward to this. I've been wanting to do a leveling series similar to the leveling series I do in RF4 uh, with this game here, the Fisher Online. And uh, many of you probably already know about this game. It has been going strong for quite a while now, um, but it doesn't have the same. Um, uh, not as many people know about it probably as something like RF4 or Fishing Planet. And uh, to me, it really ranks right up there. I mean, I you know, of course, I spend the most time in, in terms of uh, fishing simulators or games in, in RF4. Um, but if you're looking for something else or a change of pace or even just something to play alongside of one of those other games, the Fisher Online is certainly worth your consideration. So... Um, I did, I did want to mention, I saw Mista, who is someone that I know from RF4 in my in-game chat, uh, streaming and making videos on this recently. And that's what actually brought it back to my, my mind. Like, oh yeah, I've been wanting to get back to that and, and kind of see if we couldn't do a leveling series. I guess the difference in this leveling series will be in comparison to RF4. I just don't know as much about this. Uh, don't know as much about this game. Um, I played this when it first came out up to maybe level 15 or 16, which frankly isn't that far. And um, a ton has changed since then. Uh, a ton's been added in terms of new content, new things in the shop, um, all kinds of stuff. So um, here we are. And, 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 and so let me just go ahead and say from the, from the get-go here, there's just a lot of things that I don't even know about with this game so we'll be learning some of them together some of those things uh, i'm sitting here looking um let me go ahead and do this really quick because i want you to be able to see this one of the really interesting parts of this game as we jump right in uh is the holding up your your smartphone and this is the way that a lot of the game including your profile and other things are um uh, accessed so you hit Q to bring this up and this is a really cool thing and one of the parts of this game that I think is just right off the bat um, really interesting is the daily quest system and you have daily quest on every um, lake pond river you know whatever bodies of water and I don't think there's any reason not to just go ahead and take uh, you know, at least one of these in each category. So you can kind of take one in each category. I'm sitting here thinking about for income, it's unlikely we would do grass carp. Now, if we use worms, I do believe we can get perch. I guess we want to look at the time that's left, 11 minutes. That could be a problem. Are all of these resetting that quickly? So it looks like these have hours left, but these just have minutes. Um, God, that carp one is tempting because I know that if we use bread, we will occasionally catch small carp here. Crucian, that's a decent amount there. Are there's Wells catfish here? I don't even know. Um, but I'm not sure that it matters because I think all of these are going to reset... And then we'll catch a lot of gudgeon as well, won't we? Let's just do perch. So that's 9 for 20. This is 6 for 24. Let's just take that and um, we'll watch it because I think that one's going to reset. Oh, no, we have a lot of time to do it now. Okay, so we could have taken any. We probably could have taken the carp one. Um, so if you haven't watched my video series before, if somehow this is the first one you've seen, I am not a, um, a short video guy, you know, sometimes I do even like hour long videos. We'll see this first one. I just want to kind of get a feel for the pond and, and, uh, see what we can see, what we can get into. Um, I guess another thing that I want to want to mention is, um, yeah, here's, this is a good reminder here. We are VIP. And I have purchased the two, I think one's $5 and one's $8 packs from the in-game store. This is real money. Now, this if, you don't, if you're not familiar with this game, this is a pay-to-play game. It's not free-to-play. You pay 
a small amount. It's a very inexpensive game. And then you have access to play the game. VIP, uh, I think, works very similar to how it does in RF4 in terms of increasing the amount of experience you're going to get. We'll try to notice if it does anything else. I, I don't know that information. I don't think it affects your silver. Um, and then these are actual... Um, kits that you can purchase for actual money and to me this, these are just ways that you can support the developer and the development of this game these aren't necessary i mean you know it, this isn't a uh this game probably isn't as grindy as rf4 although it still is grindy it still has a lot of content and a lot you can do but um but you know the, i feel like these are sort of just these aren't necessary. These are just fun things you can do if you want to support the. So I'm not going to even unpack these yet. We'll unpack them hopefully during this video. But the first thing I want to do is just get started fishing with what you would typically start with, which it looks like that's going to be a float rod. And we have a, um, you know, kind of what you would expect. We do have a size zero hook. And if we take that off, it takes the bait off as well. So we, all of our hooks are size zero. So one thing we could look at doing is maybe getting a size one hook if we wanted to try to increase maybe some of the sizes of stuff we're catching. Um, but let's see. So, so our daily quest is just to catch any fish. And... It looks like they all have to be 689 grams to count. Is that right? And then we get a certain amount of rewards. The supply, we need to su supply three golden crucians, and that gives us a bait. Experience, silver bream. I'm not sure we're going to be able to catch silver bream unless we end up getting certain uh, certain bait that maybe targets them, and I don't even know what that would be, so that would require some experimenting. And then income is that six perch, and that's where I think if we use these worms... Um, we may be able to actually sneak in finishing that perch quest, which that income would be huge. Because obviously, if you've watched any of my videos, the thing I want to do is get a um, feeder rod as soon as possible. And start setting up our feeders. So with this game, and, and, and I could be wrong, but this is my experience of this game. If you cast it in like we just did there, and you don't get a bite pretty quick, then yeah, you can wait, and maybe you will eventually get a bite. But with like these small fish we're trying to catch here on this first map, I feel like you probably want to move on, cast it somewhere else. Again, if y'all have a different experience with that, let me know. But, you know, give it a few seconds, and to me, if you're not seeing a bite there, there we go then it's probably just time to recast. All right, sideways, I think we can pull this in. There's a little perch. Okay, so this is key. We want to take this, and it will automatically apply it towards our quest. If we wanted to do it without quest, let's say it was a trophy, a really big, nice one, then, yeah, we could do it without quest, but, but we definitely want that to go towards our quest because that's really one of the things we're trying to do here is get some easy early income with that perch quest. Kind of like RF4, this game is similar in the sense that, ooh, that was a quick bite. It, the, the bait didn't even make it down to the bottom. Um, oh, we just hit level two. I heard that sound, that sound, and we are now level two. You can see, where does it show our level? Right there. And this is where VIP is going to be probably a little ridiculous early on, how quickly we'll level. We just have to try to ignore that and just enjoy being here at this first body of water and just have fun fishing here. The big thing is earning silver anyway so that we can start purchasing gear. But once we get going on this account in future videos, one fun thing that I think will be really fun to do is... Just focus on the quest system. Go to different different bodies of water and slowly learn how to target different fish species based on the quest you've got. And again, there's another perch. We're four perch away now from finishing this income quest. Um, so that is very good news. We have it set automatically. I think it comes set the depth of the float tackle to one meter. So we're just kind of throwing it in and 
and and uh and letting it sink down there's a little gudgeon i knew we'd catch gudgeon too since we're using worms right now um okay so one thing i want to show you and um let's see i think backspace will put that into our so let's go look at our fish trader the two fish that we've kept that weren't part of the quest so the, the perch got turned into the quest so they didn't go in our net the two fish we've kept are worth 0.58 silver well let's don't sell those yet we'll wait till we get a little better net but let's look in the shop of all the stuff we can buy and we'll look at this more closely as we move along right now we have 0.05 silver so we can't really afford anything except if you look under float rods now let's look under feeder rods this is what we're saving for 10 silver to get the first feeder rod and then we'll have to get the other components of the feeder rod as well but if you look under float rods look at this you can get a walnut rod for 0.01 silver guess what we can afford that so let's go ahead and get one of those and let's go to our fishing rods and uh, attach that right there and then if you click on the little cog wheel, you can start putting stuff on it. So we have some of this throwaway one kilo line. We need, we do need to buy a float, um, but we can put a size zero hook on. And then do we think we're going to get bigger fish on worm or because we don't want big fish on this worm or bread. I think worm might be the safer one, but I'm not sure. Um, but under floats, yeah, they've got these goose feather floats. So we are putting together a very cheap second rod but the idea here is we only have to catch like one fish on it and you know it's kind of worth our time at that point so let's get this rod out and we're going to go ahead and set that one down let's see if this one is yeah this is at one meter as well so let's go ahead and put this in and we want to set that down because the first one i think already has a fish on it there we go so this is our hope that we can kind of get a little efficient even from the beginning. So even from the beginning, it didn't cost us anything to be able to do this. See, we've already caught two fish quicker than we would have just using the one. Now, I think we want to put this away and try to grab this one real quick. It's a decent little fish here. Okay. So now I'm remembering something. Look at this, guys. We're one perch away. So if you look at the top quest, the daily quest, actually, I didn't say that right before. How you read that is you're catching total weight of any fish. We need five kilos and 689 grams of total weight of fish here. And so, so far we've caught one kilo, 0 0.026. And so... Um, because the fish are so small, obviously, look how quickly we're getting bites. I think it's because it's morning. I think the bite rate right now is just awesome. Now they're small. Oh, we want to get this down. Can we get it before this bite goes away? Can't pick it up. Oh, there we go. Now this doesn't have a reel on it. Obviously, this is just a bamboo rod. And we are just, oh, the other one's going off now. This is actually quite intense and exciting. I didn't really... I did not remember. Oh, we, we missed it, didn't we? Yeah, we missed it. I did not remember. So let's see if I just hit number two here. Yep, it switches automatically. That's great. So that's the way to do it. What happens if I'm holding it and I, yeah, it puts it down. Oh, nothing there, huh? Okay. Let's let it be. We're just one perch away. So hopefully we're going to get that perch very soon. Oh my goodness. Something just destroyed it. There it is. Okay. Income quest has been finished. All right. So we need to go check something out. Let's see if we can. I thought I saw a nibble out here on this one, but maybe not. We've caught zero golden crucians. All right. You can see now we have 24.8 silver. All right, again, when you wait that long, to me, in this game, at least fishing for these kind of fish, you just, you really want to just put it in a different spot. All right. While we're over here, let's sell all our fish. So we have 1.49 fish, uh, silver and fish. Let's see what these are selling for individually. What's the biggest seller? So it looks like it, it ranks it by how much they're worth. So the two rud were the best. 
Now let's look over here. It, the smart thing might be to buy a hook or a bait, but really what I want to do is go ahead and get a feeder rod. And I want to go ahead and back out. And we're going to move this down to there. Let's put this, actually, let's put this here. This will be our number one slot. So we need a reel line. Yeah, so there's a lot of stuff we still need. How much is the cheapest reels? So we can afford another four kilo reel. Or we can suffer with a two kilo reel. Which just seems silly, doesn't it? Although, until we finish another quest, we're not going to really have access to much more, like, big bonuses in silver. I guess we will when we finish the daily quest, won't we? What's the reel we have on this one? We've got the big boy reel. We could put the smaller reel on this and keep the small hook and then put, I think that's what we'll do. All right, we're gonna get a small one for now. We're gonna spend the nothing. It basically costs nothing, right? All right, so let's get these situated here. If we're putting a two kilo reel on here, we don't need three kilo. One kilo line is a little small, but I'll look at that in a second to see if there's like two kilo line. And on this one, we're putting big boy reel, big boy line. Now we might have to have a signal. We definitely need a weight. Um, oh man, I'm so glad they have rod pods. I don't think they had rod pods the last time I played this. It's very exciting. Uh, let's see. Signals, here they are. Okay. That's five silver. How much is the, um, okay, here's the weight. One silver, okay, we can definitely afford that. Let's go ahead and get the signal, so we'll hear it. And now let's see how we're doing on, on putting this together. I haven't played this in a long time, so it's kind of coming back to me. We don't have to have feed. I don't think we have to have a leader. We Obviously, we're going to need a hook. Can we afford a little bit larger hook? Size one is only one silver. Let's do that. All right, so we're gonna go a little larger hook here. Looks like they do have durability. Okay, so we've got nine silver left. Is there one bait that we might wanna try? Something that might catch, um, Some of the other things, like I'm, I'm really tempted to try pearl barley. It's pretty cheap, comes with 30 of them. Let's try that. We've got bread and worms. What if we try maggots as well? So we've got pearl barley and, and bread, and then we've got worms and maggots. Are we set up here? I think we are good to go. Okay. All right, what do we want on here in terms of bait? Let's try the pearl barley for now. Okay, this is so exciting, isn't it? Oh my goodness, I love it. What level are we, by the way? Not that it matters, I'm just curious. We're already level three, okay. Um, I wanna keep moving, let's, let's keep looking around. And we wanna find a good spot to put our feeder. I don't know what we're gonna catch on Pearl Barley. Um, ooh, I kinda like this spot here. And, and, and maybe we do wanna put this out a little deeper. Let's kinda go right over these reeds. Let's see how far that goes. Oh, that was perfect, all right. Let's just set that down and let's see what happens. Okay, so we're wanting golden crucians, silver bream. I think let's try bread. And let's just see how long it takes to potentially get a bite either way.
I'm sorry, have we been getting a bite here? Oh my goodness. What have we hooked into? I, I, I got a work text and I was trying to deal with that and then I look up and something crazy is happening. Okay, I think we're gonna be able to lift this. Holy cow. Is that a pretty nice one? I can't remember how colors go. Is blue better than green? I think we want to take this without the quest. Okay, so let's put this up and let's see what we have going on here. Um, you know, I'm just remembering something. Sorry, right, guys. I think I can quit paying attention to my phone now for a second. Oh, is that a... Oh, it's a crucian. Okay. Okay. I'm just remembering something. We changed the strength on our float, didn't we? It's now one kilo line. That's why that felt like a freaking tank in there. Let's put this in the water. And let's just go see. Do we have any two kilo line options? Because that's the thing. We've got the two kilo reel, but we actually took our line down to so weak. All right, line, three kilo is only five silver. Is that what I'm using? Yeah, that's what we're using on that one. Three kilo line doesn't make sense on that one though, does it? It's like stronger. Now that's what we need, but that's mono line so it's just a cheaper a cheaper mono line huh the thickness is 0.2 and the weight is 55 grams 55 grams 0.12 so this is just a thinner mono and then this is braid so that would be more for spin fishing okay let's keep going and let's see if we can make this work that was a nice fish though i think i mean it's better than anything else we've caught yeah look at these Look at these two fish. Like we're, we're going to be doing okay if we can keep going here. Oh, I hear our bells. It's so exciting. I've been looking forward to this for so long, guys. Sorry I'm so excited, but just the newness of it and have not having played it in so long. It's just really cool. All right, there's another green crucian. Yeah, I just got to I got to remember what the, the colors mean. I think green and then blue and then like what's trophy? I, I just, there's so much I don't remember. All right, let's try this again and let's see if we can not break anything. Friction break is so low, but it needs to be. It'd be awesome if we broke our stuff here right at the beginning. Yeah, Silver Bream, I, again, I just don't know. What bait would Silver Bream even go for? They're small, right? And they might be in a little deeper spot. Oh, I forgot we can look at the map. We can kind of see where the deeper areas are. Like, what if we go down the bridge and no. Maybe down here? Maybe down here. Maybe we want to try that. Did I miss a fish? I bet I did. Let's try to get one more fish here on, on the feeder. And once we get another fish here on the feeder, let's go sell our fish and see if we can guess what bait we want to use for silver bream. I don't know. Maybe we want to stay closer to home until we can um, get stronger line on this one again. I don't know. I'm a little indecisive right now. Let's just keep going and see how it goes.
you know how I am with these floats. Oh, I almost pulled it in and we just caught a fish. Okay, so this is the perfect size to comfortably get in. Oh, nice little green roach. 233 grams. I like it. Uh, that does have a fish on, doesn't it? Yeah, that clearly does. All right, what do we got here? Okay, not, not too big. It's reasonable size though. Golden Crucian. Let's go. That is perfect. That's for our quest, actually. And that one's a smaller one, so I think I'm going to let that one go to the quest. You know, we're catching Golden Crucian at a decent rate here in this spot. So I'm going to I'm gonna go right back, put that right back down. Do we want to try maggots on float? You know what the answer is. Yes, we do. Oh, is it already getting a fish? Oh, that's beautiful. Let's do it. Let's do it. <gasps> All right, this is a big boy fish. This is big boy because this is our this is our nice setup here, huh? Do we put this down to catch the float? I think we do. Uh, it, it it got off anyway. Okay, let's let's put it out of our minds. Whoa, 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 whoa. Can we go up one? In friction break? Yes. And we should have it here. Oh, it's trying to run from us. See, this is okay, this is this is what I like about the Fisher Online. To me, it's the closest thing like I've I've always said I love the fishing mechanics. It just feels good in RF4. And this is the first game that to me came close, that at least came close. This is gonna be a really big, really big, oh, it's a carp. We just hit level five, by the way. I mean, that's a really big carp. We'll take it, we'll take it. That was quick. Okay, so pearl barley, pearl barley and the carp. All right, we didn't get to see what the fish was that, got on the maggots. So let's see if we can see it this time. That feeder went off so fast. How do we see our keep? No, oh, C works. All right. So we can have up to 20 fish and up to 10 kilos of fish in this starter net. It's one thing that's a little different about this game is you do purchase, um, kind of like fishing planet, you purchase your nets to allow you to keep more and bigger fish. Whoa, it's just scary. These little, uh, this little setup is a little scary. So what is on maggots? That's the question that we're faced with and hopefully we're gonna get an answer. Let's see if we can't drag this guy backwards a little bit. Lift him up maybe a little bit. Okay, he's closer to shore, so let's, let's see if we can't go grab him here. Oh, maybe not. He is, ooh. You see him right there? This is about as big as we want to go with this setup. Got him. A crucian. A nice crucian. On maggots. Oh, what did we just do? Oh, we finished our daily quest. That is awesome. All right, so we have an angler's token. What can we do with that? I don't know, but that's cool. We have one. We have an angler's token. Man, I want to get another bite there on that. Um, so what if we try the pearl barley on this as well? We just don't want to catch a carp. We will break our stuff if we catch a carp the size of that carp. But we have smaller hooks. Remember, we have a zero size hook on the float and a one on the feeder. Is there already a bite there? Yeah, there is. It happened, I mean, it, it, it's like as soon as it settled, it was already underwater a little bit. There's a crucian. So this seems like it's a nice little uh, crucian spot. We need a couple more golden crucians, especially small ones that I'm willing to let go for the quest. I mean, we're going to get mollusk pieces as the bait. That's not something I anticipate that we'd be using anytime soon, but 
hey, if we start building up our bait inventory, I'm fine with that. Man, isn't this fun though? It just and, and and it's because the game is fun, but there's also just something inherently fun about beginnings, right? So I um am so thankful to Wolf, who's the main developer for this game, and he was willing to actually reset my account for this. Um and I uh, really appreciate all the work he's put into this game and how interactive and responsive he is to his community. It's very cool. All right, it, again, we're not waiting forever for a float. If there's not a fish biting, let's try a different spot. And how about that feeder just sitting there, not, not catching fish for so long? Let's, um, let's reposition this over here perhaps. Maybe this is just showing us that it's time to time to move to a different spot. We have been here for a little while. And I think we'll catch these crucians and stuff anywhere we fish, really, on this pond. I want to re-key, uh, so right now my back mouse button is zooming, which I don't really want. Where's zoom? Yeah, mouse three, let's just keep that on Z. Um, drop, I wonder if that is it. We'll see if that works. Nope. All right. Uh, nope. We want to keep it at this, whatever that is. Drop feed. Okay. What is it that close fishing rod? There it is. Sorry. Obviously, it's the one that has backspace on it. Yep. There we go. So now we can quickly put stuff down or pick it back up. If you were a silver bream, what would you eat? 21 silver. Oh, that's so much better than what we had been doing. Um, so now we're up to what? 84 silver. We can absolutely get a second feeder rod, right? Feeder rod. Um, four kilo. And... three kilo line. We'll take a second one of those. We need another. Let's do a bell tone low. We'll have two different sounds and we need another bottom weight. Do we ever go? No, I think we go small again. Is that all we need? All right, we want to go ahead and disassemble this. We will not be using this anymore. But again, it only cost us 0.01 silver so that we had that little bit of excitement. Was it worth it? I don't know, but it was it was fun. So we want another hook. We definitely want to go, I think, uh, at least have the option of going two ones on that. And I'm not sure about baits. Let's look at baits here. So maybe we should try peas. Does it tell you... Um, records like does it tell you what they buy? oh they do where's the silver bream pearl barley so i was right on on possibly at least on on what we wanted to do there that's really what i want to try to catch is 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 silver bream fish on lake 
So these are the ones we haven't caught yet. That's cool. You can keep track of it. So silver bream, food fish, and small. We might should go to the smaller hook, to be honest with you. These are not big. Maximum weight, one kilo. Um, all right, so let's get a little bit more pearl barley. And is there anything else we just want to try? Maybe dough? Maybe bark beetle larva? I'm kind of good with what we've got. I want to go down and try. You know, we spotted that place at the end of the pond. And our hope here is that this might be where some silver bream are. That's our hope here. Let me just type something real quick here. Okay, let's see. So we do, let's see if we can get on the silver bream, but I do need to sort of think about wrapping this episode up and before I do I also want maybe while we're waiting on the feeders to go off I want to um, check I think I want to actually go up right next to this end part we can either fish from up on top or I think there's a little space if I remember correctly down to the left right yes okay so let's look at this we want to go my gut tells me that we want to go really small hooks here. And we actually, if you look at this, we don't want to cast far, right? Kind of aiming for going out towards the middle here. Really short cast. Let's just get right out here in the bottom. Oh, we definitely want that to go towards quest. Now we just need one more. So that's good. So, so we have a chance of finishing that quest for the for the mollusks. Let's see if that happens. Oh my goodness, look how quick that happened. So two really fast bites on where we've casted it on this first side. There's a bleak. Interesting. Another fish we haven't caught yet. So that's cool. Oh, and we just hit level six on that fish. All right, now, we obviously we could be doing our float here, which I do think would be worthwhile, but the first thing I wanna do is let's go ahead and look at these guys. So on the kit B cast, we're gonna have a fishing rod, reel, fishing line, and a minimum set of lures from the B casting kit. All right, so let's open that up and let's see what we've got. All right, B. Oh, look at this, this is gonna be nice. Oh, you hear that? So five kilo, five kilo, hold on. Hey, we've got a different sounding bell, don't we? All right, let's see what fish, kind of type of fish this is. We had to wait longer on the bite, but um, oh, that's what we want. That's what we want. What are we getting? A bunch of experience, 222 experience. Do we want the silver or the experience? We want the silver actually. I don't even think we want to do that quest. I'm going to cancel this quest. Because you know what? Right now, what we want is silver. Um, income. Silver bream. That's just a lot of them. We'll see how many we get. We'll take the silver bream one. Okay. All right, cool. All right, so that was like right there. Oh man, I'm excited about this. We're not gonna use it this this episode, but um, 
Oh, do we not have a... Oh, we don't... Okay. Trout Master Spoon Bait. Let's just see what it looks like, huh? Oh, man, that looks cool. That looks so cool. Oh, so you can do... I, I, okay, so hold down R, you can do retrieval speed. This is a spoon, so we... I'm sorry, I, I, we were, I wasn't even going to use it here. I don't know if we'll catch anything here, but... Wait, is that a fish on? Or is that just the weight of the lure? I think that was just the weight of the lure. All right, let's do this one more time here. I have no idea about spin fishing in this game. I don't think I've even done much spin fishing in this game. It looks so cool though, doesn't it? Maybe we should just do straight retrieval. I, oh yeah, there's uniform guiding. Until I figure out how to do jig step or whatever the equivalent is in this game, we might should just do uniform. Let's do like a little faster uniform guiding. I'm, I'll, I'll put it up after this. I'm just fascinated by this little, this little spinning rod here. All right, what does it tell us here? Three arrows, uniform guiding. That's pretty cool. We haven't had a bite in a while on our feeders, right? Um, put this away. Woo, dang. Remember, we have size zero hooks. Is that a silver again? Look at that large silver bream. I have a feeling we want this without quest. Because that's an income quest. We really only want the smaller ones there, probably. I bet that silver, that large one is worth enough that we don't want to... Um, Okay, so let's look at the other thing. Okay, so the reason why I wanted to see these is because I just thought it'd be fun to see what comes in them. Pick a rod, a reel, a line, and a, fee uh, a bee feeder set from Royal Manic. Okay, let's, uh, let's check it out. Picker, bee, gold. Bee flora, ooh, is that flora carbon? Dang. Oh, and it came with one of those. That's pretty cool. Size two hooks. Wow. All right, let's see what this looks like. We don't have a indicator on there. Ooh, that looks pretty cool. That looks pretty cool. Is this another silver? Look how big these are. This might be something else though. Pearl barley seems like the way to go. I mean, we probably ought to test some other things, but I'm really liking pearl barley. Now that's a golden, isn't it? Large golden. We want to do that without quest. It does finish the quest if we used it for that, but it, it's just too much silver. I can't stand to... Can't stand to let it go. All right, so we're not gonna have a bell going off, so we kind of have to watch this. I wanted to see what this looks like. Look at this. So this is a little uh, picker, little picker rod. It actually looks really nice though, doesn't it? 
Really nice design. I think it looks awesome. It looks like it's pulling, doesn't it? Maybe not. Maybe it's not. Whoa, everything's going off. That thing, oops, that one is taking off across the pond. So let's get this one in. What would be cool is if this is a golden crucian. I think it is, yes. We finished another quest. That's what I was hoping. That's what I was hoping. All right. So we didn't catch any fish on the two um, upgraded rods and reels, which I think is good because I really wanted to experience this. Uh, even though we do have VIP, I wanted to basically experience this like you would just loading into the game for the first time, which is what we've done. Let's go see how much these fish are worth, though. I'm really curious. I'm really curious. What did we get up to? Level six in this first video, and it has been super fun. Are there fast travel points? I think there are. Oh, yes. Is there more than one? I think some places does have more than one. Can you fish in the little stream? Interesting. I don't know if you can or not. All right, let's see what we've got here. 10.98 silver. That large silver bring. I think I was right on on what we did with that. On what we did with that. All right, so one thing that would be nice is thinking about when do we upgrade our tank so we can get a little bigger fish. 50 silver, like we could afford it now, you know. So we'll have to think about that. I think we need to wrap up this first video, though. Let me know how you're liking it. I, it's so fun to me. I'm sure I'll play some away from recording just to experiment with some stuff. But I'm going to try to really stick with this series and, and make episodes every day for a little while because I'm really into it. So, um, as always, thanks for watching. And uh, let me know what you think. And I look forward to talking to you soon. Thanks so much. I'll catch you later.